a syntax error popped up during a security update in some of the older versions of SOLIDWORKS around about 2011 to 2016 versions. So let me just show you the syntax error before we correct it. So here I'm just going to draw a couple of circles, add some dimensions and uh, try and add an equation. So make this circle 100 and then put in a second dimension. Give it a value. Now I'm going to go to the palette, bring the equations bar into view. So show file properties, go into equations, right click, manage equations. So we've got two dimensions. So if we go to equals, first dimension equals the second dimension, which was 100 mil minus 90 to give us 10 mil, which is what we already had. This is where the error appears. So there is a syntax error in the active equation. Do you want to exit the dialog? So let's just say yes. So the problem is when we go back into manage equations, our equations disappeared. And this can be a problem, but we can fix it. So let's just close down SOLIDWORKS. And we need to go to the start menu and click run or type run then write reg edit okay say so yes so now we're in, we need to go to h key local machine software let's scroll let's make this a bit bigger go down to policies Microsoft, Windows, and here we are looking for a folder called installer. If it's not there, get a new key and type in installer. Okay, right, so we need to place something in installer. So Go to new D word value. So we've added something here. And we need to give this a name. So let's just click on it. So this uh, this problem occurred during a security update uh, for Windows. We're basically about to turn this update off and then we'll turn it back on again. So we can see the value is set to zero. So let's go right click, rename, and we need to rename this D word remapped elevated proxies policy. Okay, that's it remapped elevated proxies policy. Now right click again, modify, change the value data to one. This is basically turning the update off. It is quite an important security update so we will be putting it back on once we've run the fix. So let's either minimize this or, or get rid of it. I've got the SOLIDWORKS installation CD in the drive, so I'm now going to go to my installation CD, autoplay, run it. So you might have a, yeah, some sort. You might have a download. I have the CD, and then I'm going to run a repair. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you the act of running the repair. We'll fast forward and skip for, past that in a second. Anyway, just to show that I'm starting the repair wizard. So go through the process. This is this error is into SOLIDWORKS 2014, but you might see this error in 2011 to 16 versions. So the repair is complete. Okay, so let's go and have a look at SOLIDWORKS. See if uh, we fix the problem.
Okay, so let's just start a new part. And we'll just draw some geometry and see if we can get an equation to match up without the syntax error. So, just going to draw a couple of circles. Add a couple of dimensions. Just the same as before. There is another part after this. So, uh, although we are just going through the motions, we do have to reset the regedit. So, I'm just deriving this D2 from D1. So, to make T 10 mil equals D1 minus 90, and there was no no syntax error. So, if we go back into the sketch, you can see we've got the equation linked. And if we go into equations, right click, manage equations, the equation is there. So, there's no syntax error, we've, we've fixed the problem. And uh, that is that is the fix, but we do need to go back and restore the registry. So let's just do that quickly. So follow the same path as before to installer, remapped, elevated proxies, turn them back to zero. And now we've turned the update back on again. And that's it. That's the uh, that's the fix.